What is going on everybody, it's Cyblocks here, and welcome to a Draw My Life video. Now, I know these videos are sort of outdated, but I just want to show you guys my life in a nutshell. Because I got this by popular request in the live stream earlier on. So let's get into this. So basically, I was born in Great Britain, specifically Wales, on November 17th, date not specified, just for the sake of the video. Basically, uh, my parents, one of them was an entrepreneur, the other one was a CEO of a company, and both made very steady income. However, in this video, I'm not going to be going over all the good finance that we had and whatnot. So basically, I was born with two bad downsides to my health. One was OCD, and the other was me being blind. I was literally born blind, doctors did not know why, and with my occasional combustion disorder, I literally could arrange anything in specific patterns. I had a little bit of an advantage. So at three years of age, I moved from Great Britain to USA. Now we were the first of my generation to actually move there, so I don't know why my parents wanted to move there. They never told me to this very day, but that was a three years old. And um, we actually got a bigger house there. We actually had a very huge house in Great Britain, and we even have a bigger house. We can even consider it maybe a mansion or a manor over here right now because of the very good income that they got from their jobs. So they had to. Fine, it knew, they had to like, my dad had transferred his company over here, so I started school four years old because since I was born in November, I had to start school a year later. I was in pre-K, or preschool actually first, I was left out of everybody, I was secluded and isolated, I never got any attention even though I wasn't exactly an attention horde, so that really got me bummed out, but hey, guess what, I still stuck with my ad academics because that was my number one priority, I still loved ac being academically inclined. And I don't know why, but I just I just love studying and stuff. So in pre-K, then things got a whole hell of a lot worse in elementary school because I was even more neglected there. But actually, one of their friends came over there to comfort me, and now I made my first friend in pre-K. And this guy is actually important later on. So I actually got stitches twice. Once by some idiot running me over with the wagon wheel and splitting my toe literally in half in pre-K. And in kindergarten, whereas I was chasing my cousins in their house and I hit a corner of a wall, my head goes first. Surprisingly, my brain was not injured. And people made fun of me. They called me Stitch Face. They called me Hush from Batman. They, they said, but hey, you disability person, even though I didn't really have any disabilities besides being blind and having OCD. But they used to make fun of me all the time in kindergarten, and those stitches lasted until first grade. So after that all happened, basically I decided to commit suicide, but only to realize that I my instincts of drowning myself didn't exactly work because I always came back up to the surface and I was a little pussy out of the field. So basically that was my first time at age 5 committing suicide in kindergarten, people. Now, in first through fifth grades and even in today, I've always gotten 4.0 GPAs, never have I gotten a B ever since then, or even prior, but there was some time in 5th grade, the 4.0 is 4.0 GPA, in 5th grade, however, people started taking advantage of me because I got a little bit more popular as the grades went on. Basically, people would threaten me to help me with their homework, like, hey bro, you can do my, my work, can you please do my work, or I'm gonna beat you up after school if you don't do my homework today, and I had no choice but to do it because this is all true, and people would literally just force me to do their homework, and I was so stressed out. And this led me to another suicide attempt, which wasn't even good because I had to hang myself and somehow the rope wasn't secured properly. So basically, my years just went flat out. But in 2012, the guy from Pre-K I was telling you guys about, he actually introduced me to this site called YouTube. And I was contemplating about it, that was until September, whereas I saw a YouTube ad on my TV and I said, hmm, you know what, I think he was right. I remember that from a whole lot of months back, and in December I actually started my channel. Now, for 20 days, all I did was just use it for watching and commenting, but on December 25th, I made my first video. On December 5th, you've seen on my About page I joined. It was nothing but Club Penguin and Club Penguin and Club Penguin. It was lame. That was just basically how I thought of it back then, but I didn't have a professional screen recorder. And that kind of got me bummed out, but in 12 videos, I got 12 views back then. My channel was NoriFan7589, and I, got, I only had like 35 subs or 3 subs. And those are my third through seven attempts because of lack of motivation and support. My number one priorities were reading, studying, and of course, just organizing because I don't know why I had like this thing to organize things and also music. And those are my biggest priorities back then and still today actually, which I do enjoy. Now I did get more popular in middle school. People started watching more of my videos and I still got 4.0 GPAs in my core and elective classes, which is what you see at the very bottom there. It was okay. It was still okay, and I was even musically inclined. I was a prodigy. Seven years on piano, eight years on violin, year on viola, and two years in cello. And since, if you know all the academics of the piano, you can basically do it with any other instrument practically. And from there, 
I actually bought myself a mic for recording, so that actually bought my views and sub count to go skyrocketing into the sky. And you guys actually started to come toward me whenever I got that mic. It was a Blue Yeti. I remember the first time I bought it. I got 100 views for the first time, 10,000 subscribers, and that all happened in 2015. Thank you. I cannot thank you enough. And that was just incredible. I made my life. And then Cyblox got up to 10,816 subscribers. I was so happy, but before that, I thought I could maybe like hook up with someone else and maybe we can do like some BF girlfriend stuff. But you know, I actually <laughs> never really got to tell my crushes how much I liked them. So that happened four times, and then my suicide started happening again for twice more. And I usually actually use the same suicide method, but I won't really go into that. So I had to take therapy. And none of that exactly worked on me, but actually you guys technically are my therapist because I was looking at my channel and I saw all these great comments. You guys were like just promoting me and you guys were just, you guys loved my videos and whenever you loved my videos and you commented that you loved them, it really got to my heart. And like why would I commit suicide if I have, if I have all these fantastic people out there? I was so happy. This is like the peak of my life right here. And if I would have committed suicide earlier, you guys probably would have watched my videos and you probably would have not have saved me. So basically, like I said before, reading, music, and of course YouTube is my better life now. And I would not have it any other way really because I would just like to say that I could have been dead, like I said earlier, if it wasn't for you guys, but you know what? I said eat it, death because guess what? Death doesn't have anything on me. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I want to thank you guys so much for the support. You, for those of you who have been here all the way, I appreciate you for being a veteran on this channel. And maybe as soon as you look at my date on my about page whenever I join this, you can probably go think about all the stress I've gone through. And even with your donations, even though I didn't really need donations, you guys still contributed donations to me, and it helped out so much. I do appreciate what you guys do for me, really, because you're making my job like 10 times more fun than it would have been. No, fuck 10 times, 100 times better. And, you know, I wouldn't have it any other way. So thank you guys so much for watching. Without that, with that being said... I'm Cyblox, you're you, peace out, and have a good one guys, I love you so much.